Yo, what's up, guys? James Carter TV finally back here once again. James Carter TV, and we have the NFL draft coming up two days from today, Thursday. Man, I cannot wait. Can't wait to see what my Tennessee Titans do in this upcoming draft. So why not get my 5.0 mock draft, my final mock draft, all the trades, all the picks down in the description box. If you don't want to hear me talking, I'm not going to talk for long. I don't feel like talking today. All that stuff in the description box. Talk to me in the comments down there in the description box. Mock draft, you already know. That's the way it is. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my new comedy channel, Rant Channel, Black Man on Videos. There's an annotation right here. Click this fist. You see this fist, brother? Click this fist. It'll take you to my new channel, Black Man on Videos, where I rant about things going on in the world today. Click the fist. Did you click the fist? Good. Black Man on Videos, comedy rant channel made by me. So... NFL draft. Um, just want to talk about some things, some rumors, some trades that I think is gonna go down and all that stuff. Like I, again, if you want to see the full mock draft, <clears throat> make sure to look down in the description box the full first round mock draft this year. I didn't feel like making a second round or a third round. I'm sorry, I just didn't feel like it. So we're just gonna stick with the first round here. I have a good amount of trades going on. People don't realize trades are going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. There's going to be a lot of trades happening. Look at last year. There's probably going to be more this year. When teams want a player, they're going to try very hard to get that player. So expect a lot of trades, which is why I have a lot of trades happening. And mob drafts are never near 100%, but they're still fun to make. Um, number one, still have Luke Joko, no surprise there. Number two, I have the Jacksonville Jaguars taking Geno Smith, and they're going to take either Geno Smith or Ryan Nassib to me. I think they're going to take one of those two quarterbacks to me. I mean, they can't not go into the season with Blaine Gabbert and Chad Henney. You're not going to win. You're not going to win shit. You're not going to win shit. And I don't like Ryan Nassib. I don't like him personally. I'd rather have them take Geno Smith with the number two pick than them take Ryan Nassib with the number 33rd pick. I mean, I hate Ryan Nassib. I'm, I mean, I'm not that I hate him. I just, I'm not a big fan of Ryan Nassib. I'm really not. I mean, there's, if there's only quarterbacks that I am a fan of, it's Geno Smith, sort of, EJ Manuel. Um, I like Logan Wilson, and I like EJ Manuel. Those are the quarterbacks I really like in this draft. And a little Mike Glennon. I don't like Matt Barkley. I mean, I'll be surprised. If he goes in the first round, whoever takes him in the first round will be making a huge mistake. We're we'll making the biggest mistake of their lives. Hopefully the Arizona Cardinals are not idiots uh, whenever this draft begins. Um, more controversial stuff maybe in this mock draft. Uh, I mean, number eight, I had some questions about that. I mean, the Buffalo Bills have been talking about upgrading that secondary. And last year they took Stephon Gilmer, so I don't think they're going to go corner. I think they're going to go safety. I think it's going to be Kenny Vicar, and it could be a reach at number eight to take Kenny Vicar, so maybe they're going to trade down. But if there's not a tackle there, why would they trade down? So I don't want to project that happening. Um, but they like Kenny Vicar, so I think they're going to take them at eight. It, it is a reach, but I think that's where they're going to go. Um, Chargers trading up for Lane Johnson. That's no surprise there. They want to tackle. Lane Johnson's going to be their guy. Um, other maybe controversial stuff. I have tackles dropping. I have Starla Tulele, Shower Floyd. I mean, I have these guys dropping. I mean, and it's not because they stink. Um, it's just because I just don't believe personally that tackles, that these tackles are really being, I mean, how can I say this? Um, that these tackles are really that great. I think they're just, I mean, I think they're very good, but they all have problems. Shower Floyd, teams worry that you cannot get to the quarterback. Um, when you look at uh, Sheldon Richardson, I mean, people teams don't like his combine, his pro day, and we've got Starla Tulele, his art injury. I mean, I or you know problems or whatever, whether it's there or it's not. Teams don't really like that. Um, will Manta Teo go in the first round? I believe so. I, I 100% believe so. I think he's going to the Minnesota Vikings. That's where I have him mocked. If not, he could go before that to the Chicago Bears. Uh, maybe even to the Cincinnati Bengals. Maybe to the New York Giants. He will be taken in the first round. At the latest to the Minnesota Vikings at 23 or 25. And that's pretty much all the controversial stuff I have in this mock draft. So once again, comment down below your thoughts on this mock draft. Uh, all you guys' uh, thoughts on who you think your team's going to take. And 
If I'm wrong, tell me why, all that stuff. You know I want to hear James Carter TV at James Carter TV on Twitter. Time to watch the NFL draft on Thursday. I can't wait. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Wow, well, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I will be on after Thursday or maybe Friday uh, to recap the first round of the draft. So make sure to come back on here. James Carter TV, YouTube.com slash James Carter TV to watch that video. For all you here, hopefully you already subscribed. If you haven't already, click subscribe. I always put an annotation right there for you to subscribe. So click that annotation right there. Thank you. James Carter TV. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.